Welcome to Utilitarian TV. If you are just watching our videos on tutorial or you have been watching before and you have not subscribed yet to our channel, please click the subscribe button now and remember to turn on the notification bell for a reminder on our future videos about the ongoing tutorial on Corel Draw designs. In this video, I will be showing you about Corel Draw tools. I will be making brief explanation on each tools that we use for designs in Corel Draw. Please, let's get started. The first tool is pick tools. This pick tool looks like an arrow. It is used for picking objects from one point to another in the Corel Draw window. When we draw box and we want to pick it from a point to another, pick tool is used to move the object. It can be used to alight objects too and then pick the object. It can be used to resize objects, say by changing its size. It can adjust group work using the adjustment arrow. As you can see, I adjust it and the size reduced. That is how to resize an object. If you didn't select pick tool, you can't resize an object. It is also used for rotating objects. When you double click the object, it shows the rotation pointer that will be used to rotate the object from point to point. So that is how pick tool works during designs. The second tool is free and pick. We use it to select and pick objects. Like when we have some group work and we want to select one or two from this object. We will use this tool to trace out the path we want to select and pick it, just like the way I'm using it now. Then it will select whatever we have traced. Another tool is Free Transform. We use it to change object look, either to change in its figure or in size, like making it look mirror or make it flat just like the way I'm using it now with this box. It look flat, sometimes change in size, that is the use of the free transform tool. We can also use it for any other objects too. Another tool is shape tool. It is used for changing object look. It is like free transform tool but we can't use it the way we use free transform tool for an object because shape tool cannot mirror object but can only change its figure and size then we have the crop tool it is used for cropping out picture or any other object just like the way i crop this box it will cut it and you have to resize it to your preferred size and then click enter to crop it that is how crop tool works then we have the zoom tool what it does is that it will only enlarge your work we also have another tool called free hand tool it is like a pen tool which is used to draw anything like object or signature we can use this tool to do that signature or when we want to draw a signature, we can use this tool to draw that signature. And we also use it to crop objects like removing the background of a picture. We use this tool to trace picture so that its background can be removed. It also have other uses like crafting text or creative flowers. You can use this free hand tool to do that and draw the flower. Another tool is Artistic Media Tool. You can call it Artist Tool. It is used to draw paint figure like if you want to bold a signature. So you can use it and also for drawing flower or designing flower. 
you can resize it or change its color another tool is rectangle tool as you can see I drag and fill it to page and it didn't fit to page if you want it to fit to page you will double click the rectangle tool also you can give it a color at the right bar and you can resize it also another tool is ellipse tool it is used for drawing a cycle that it uses then we have polygon tool you can see different shape there star polygon triangle banner frame etc we use it for designs you can change the star number if it is six angles that you want you can change it up there then there is text tool as you can see the a sign it means text you can type whatever you want as much as possible i typed utilitarian then you can color it also or change its font this is where you can change the font you will select the font you want and click enter then change color or its size you can italic it bold and also underline it so that is its use then there is drop shadow too if you draw an object and you want to shadow it you will use this tool and drag it to the position you want it will shadow the object you can check the onset bar and make a selection of your choice and choose any offset you want then it will apply the shadow you can increase its darkness and its transparency too so that's how it work then there is transparency tool maybe you want to make an object to be transparent that is you want this object to be visible when you place it under another object when you apply this transparency you can make it uniform or number its transparency when apply you can color it so when you place it under another object it will be transparent just like the way you have seen it now another important tool is smart fill it is used for logo designs maybe we want a logo that needs to be cut out we will use this smart fill to cut the space we need from the object and it will give exactly what we need just like the way i do this now i cut out the needed area with the tool so that is the function of this smart fill it is very important the last tool i will be talking about is the curve tool when you draw a box and you want to curve it you will use the convert to curve button and then use the shape tool again this shape tool will give you what you want but you have to convert it to curve first then you will use the bend arrow sh to shape the object to the size you want it to have just like the way i'm doing it now you can use it to draw anything say like fish box anything we use this curve to do designs like banner naming card and others that's the function of the curve tool it is the main tool in color draw designs so when you finish shaping it you can color it you can adjust it and also resize it any way you want it to be so that's it about it it is just a transforming tool we have reached the end of this video on introduction in my next video i'll be showing you how to remove background from a picture and insert a new background to it that is to say how to crop background from a picture i will show you about that in the next video
please stay with us and please if you have not subscribed to this channel click the subscribe button now and remember to turn on the bell button so that you can get notified on our next video thanks a lot for watching see you in the next video goodbye